seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isak Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence? Outside of ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Buckle up, fight fans, today. We got some insane drama to dive into the boxing. Goat Floyd Money Mayweather and the current knockout king, Javant Tank Davis, just had one of the most intense face-offs we've ever seen for years. The boxing world has been buzzing about a potential showdown between these two titans now at last. It's finally here, Floyd Mayweather versus Javant. Davis is to take place this September. Trust me, you don't want to miss this, so grab your popcorn, smash that like button, and let's get into it. Floyd Mayweather versus Gervin Davis has officially been confirmed for September and their recent face-to-face -face interview has set the world on fire. This matchup is all anyone can talk about, and for good reason. The tension has been building for months, but now that the fight is locked in, the excitement is at an all-time high high. We all saw the signs when Driven Davis hinted that this epic showdown was coming in September. But now that it's a reality, the anticipation is off the charts. New Deal 7 Fight Deal which is music to the years of many boxing fans, get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? A uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah, Shaq Stevenson, yeah. Ryan Garcia, yeah. Devin Haney, yeah. Isaac Cruz, yeah. But they're two people I already beat already. But yeah, Errol Spence outside of ring. Floyd Mayweather, yeah, yeah, yeah. September, November, T. Lopes, yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather, Jaren Davis, is more than ready to throw hands. He's itching for the fight. The recent face-off between him and Floyd Mayweather got so intense that security had to step in the tension, was through the roof as Davis leaped from his seat, ready to go after Floyd right then. And there the bad blood between these two runs deep and it was on full display during their heated exchange. This isn't just about a fight, it's personal and things are only getting more explosive from here. Mayweather is already back in training, and his most recent training clip is making a lot of rounds all over the internet. And no, it's not C of Floyd's elite boxing skills, but cuz who he's training with Shaker Stevenson. Yep, Floyd and Shaker are grinding together in the gym. And with those two scheming in the same room, you just know they're plotting something big against music tanks. So let's break down what's really going on here. We've got two massive egos clashing. Floyd, the seasoned vet, has always been in control. He's used to calling the shots, not just in his career, but also in tanks, but tanks on the rise. And he's starting to outgrow that role. It's like that classic story student versus master. But in this case, the student has the power to kill the master. And that's what's making this situation. So Electric Floyd's legacy is on the line. He's been untouchable, unbeatable. But if Tank takes him out, it changes everything. On the flip side, Tank has everything. The game beating Floyd would solidify him as the next big thing, the new face of boxing. But you have to wonder why is Floyd Mayweather coming out of retirement to fight Gervin David? I mean, the man's already got more money than he could ever spend. He doesn't need this fight. So what's the real reason? Reason it's simple. Floyd is fed up with Tank's constant disrespect. Say what you want about Floyd, but there's no denying that without him, Tank wouldn't be the star he is today. Floyd played a huge role in shaping Davis's career, and now he feels like Tank should be showing him the respect he deserves. Floyd's not just coming back for the money or the glory. He's coming back to remind Tang and the world just who paved the way way. My thing, my thing is I've always been there for him from day one. Um, We had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level, and I... I've always been there for him, and just over the years you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great and um. But over the years is constantly going on the internet taking shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, I'll constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful, when all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter, um go as far as he could possibly go, that's all I ever did, it's pretty ironic, when you think about it, Floyd Mayweather claims he's there to support John Davis. 
Yet he turns around and gives advice to Tank's opponents on how to take him down. Floyd even went so far as to give Frank Martin insider tips on how to wipe the floor with Davis. And if that wasn't enough, he was actually training with him. Two, you can bet that didn't sit well with Tank. It's one thing to have a mentor who wants the best for you, but when that same mentor starts helping your rivals, it's bound to spark some serious tension. Remember you talking about doing the pad work with Floyd, and he said you got the speed and the power to be a world champ. What did that do for your confidence? You can hear that from anybody, but Floyd is Floyd is motivation. You know, cuz at that time too, man, I wasn't even I ain had that IQ that I got now. So at that point, I was just really going off natural athleticism. So for him to tell me at that time, getting deeper in my bag, trying to understand the game, underscore, underscore. It's not like basketball where you got to depend on people. It's not like football, like the work that you put in reflects directly with your results. People don't even know the amount of hours that y'all put into this. Yeah, we ain't got no backup. We got a bad day, whatever. We ain't got nobody to come, you know, come through for us. It's all on you, unfortunately, for Frank Floyd's training did not account for much in his fight against Tank Davis. Frank Martin went to sleep just like most of Tank's opponents. Left goes Mar. After the fight, Jet to Davis did not hold back on exposing Floyd. Yep, did you know Floyd was having him stalked while Tank was out on runs? That's right, let's just say Javant Davis was not too happy about this, you know. He don't want you know he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock. I mean 7 o'clock in the morning Friday. He told Frank that he was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's a drive by while I was um running. It's cool, it's it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. Uh, he not gonna hurt me, you know, I mean, so it's good to beef with him. Then be cool with him, cause he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him bad situations. Another reason that drove Tank Davis to send Floyd a fight contract he could not refuse was that Floyd fired Leonard Urbe as CEO of Mayweather Promotions. Because of his petty reasons, Mayweather was not a fan of Urbe backing up Javant and supporting him against his fight with Martin. So Floyd did what he thought was best. This got under Tank's skin and he was quite verbal about his feelings for Floyd when he was exchanging words with Errol Spence Jr. What, how, what, what's the name it? See, you got your people all, y'all all stepping, laughter. How man, where I don't know like what mean, I don't like FL now, you down, EG, do the trash. Here's what spices things up. Floyd said he accepted Tank's fight offer because he wanted to humble Tank following his constant digs. But that's not true at all. John Davis recently revealed he landed a deal way bigger than Floyd. Now we know how Floyd rolls his ego is always through the roof. He's not going to stand another fighter to do better in the industry than he did set you off CU. He was like, I got to do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd Doobie said, so you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, like he that he was going at me, he was going at me. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him for me to go, yeah. That's what I was thinking, cause it's I feel like I, I got, I would say love hate. But it's been like the last interview you showed them love this week. It was whatever but is that sometimes like you know, is it just like big bro, little bro, seeing things different? Or what is it to you know, he just FD don't never he feel as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point. Whereas though I pass him and I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait like when Foy was a 29, you'll see bro, yeah, that deal that I'm talking about, yeah. Oh, that's a part of still, he, he don't know about that yet, but that's bigger than his deal, damn wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing that's exclusive bigger than Floyd deal, yeah, don't cap, underscore, underscore. That's a lot of bread you'll see it's going to come out trainer of Jet Davis Calvin Ford is ready to get into this battle. He said that karma is going to come for Floyd in the ring, and he's going to hit the canvas early. Another thing I want to touch on is the Floyd situation, you know Floyd is floor, that's like I say tank is tank man. But at the end of the day, you know the man is chasing greatness. And you should be supporting that I always tell you that you should be supporting that you know it's a rock and roll that we seeing what's going on. Just pay attention, man. The story is going to reveal their self, you know. But again, that's how you burn brises. Uh, somebody said this is the true colors of a person that's coming out, man. They can't stand it, you know, calm as I, I. I don't like using that word calm, you know. But our Lord knows, he knows, he knows, he knows. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.